Earlier today, I spoke to Dr. Ben Carson, Secretary of the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, about the impact Opportunity Zones are having across the country, as well as his address to the RNC later this week. Welcome, Dr. Carson, and thanks so much for taking time to speak with us today. I want to talk about this week's Republican National Convention, but first, I'd like to talk about Opportunity Zones. I know you described the initiative as, quote, investing in people. How are these Opportunity Zones helping to move the country forward? Well, this is a tremendous uh, project. Uh, it was part of the 2017 Tax Cuts and Job Act, and it allowed people to invest unrealized capital gains into economically depressed areas. And that is so important because there's so many areas of our country where there's dire poverty and lack of hope. And this finally presented a chance for people to invest in those areas and also to get a tax break. So it was a win-win proposition. And it was envisioned that over a 10-year period, up to $100 billion would be invested in these Opportunity Zones, of which there are 8,761. Well, interestingly enough, the CEA, Council of Economic Advisors report, uh, shows us that in only two years, 75 billion. So 75 of the 100 billion is already in in just two years. So obviously, it's having a tremendous impact. And there, there's a uh, report that uh, we presented to the president called Best Practices in Opportunity Zones, which shows the things that are happening all over the country. You take a place like well, Wilmington, Delaware, there's a vertical farm there that is hiring people as they're released from prison. Uh, this January, they hired their first cohort of people. Uh, you look at uh, Phoenix, Arizona, one of the convalescent centers that was boarded up and not being used is being redeveloped $22 million into a behavioral uh, setting for people who have difficulty fitting into society who were previously just left out on the street providing 80 high paying jobs. You know, these are the kinds of things that make a difference for the people of our country and they're all over the country. Dr. Carson, I know you're addressing the Republican National Convention this Thursday, uh, the convention's final day, of course. What will your message be to the American people? Well, you know, I never quite know until I get there. Uh, but obviously, I want to talk about the, the positive things that have happened in our country and that are happening. And that, you know, we, the American people, are not each other's enemies. And, uh, you know, let's not let ourselves be manipulated into destroying the greatest country that ever existed on the face of the earth. We can't be destroyed by China or Russia or North Korea, but we can be destroyed by ourselves. A house divided against itself cannot stand. And Dr. Carson, what are you expecting to hear from the president this week? Well, I expect him to talk about the, the numerous things that he promised and fulfilled. And I think, you know, the president's not really a politician. You know, politicians typically promise and then you don't hear from them again in another two to four years, depending on when they're running. He will be able to enumerate the things that he said he was going to do and actually did. And I think that's a huge difference. And I think that will resonate with the people of this country. Well, Secretary Carson, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Always a pleasure being with you. Thank you.